Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, we are going to make an outstanding experiment battery video. We are going to make zinc carbon alkaline battery and this battery is going to be a very large battery about 10,000 milliamp power and I'm going to tell you step by step how you can make this battery in an easy and practical way. So let's start. First of all, I have here uh, A4 size paper. I'm going to just cut two pieces of uh, 7.5 length and uh, A4 size long paper. 7.5 and 15. Here again. Now I have here this aluminum uh, tube. I'm just going to use this to, to uh, shape mark my paper. It's going to work as a separator. Just apply some uh, glue. Now just roll it. And here again, going to again some uh, glue. Not too much, just a little bit. It's fine. Now I have here a uh, zero point two millimeter thick uh, zinc plate, ten centimeter and ten centimeter. I'm going to divide it into two pieces. Now I'm going to just cut it. You have to cut the zinc plate just like this. These are going. These uh, is going to be our terminal for our battery anode. Now I get the same thing, and now I'm going to just uh, roll the zinc plate on here, just like this, just the middle of the paper separator. I'm going to use a piece of tape. here it should be a little bit down don't worry about that now yes with this tape okay Now I'm going to take the other paper, 8 centimeter paper, and again I'm just rolled around this uh, zinc plate, just like the first one. Here I am going to use some glue. And just rolled in the same way. And again, use some glue. Okay, just like this. And take it out. Okay, my friends, our anode is ready, as you see. Now I'm going to put this into this plastic case. This is the case for our battery. I'm just going to put this one into here, as you see. 
but I'm going to roll around it again with some paper to just fit inside it okay my friends I have here some paper towel and I'm just going to round this paper towel around uh, the battery and out of the battery to just fit into the tube Okay, roll tightly as much as possible. And use a piece of tape. Okay, that's fine. Now it's now that you see it's better fit inside it. I have this kind of plastic. I'm going to just cut to circular shape. And just cut out. This one should be a little bit smaller. And as, as, as you see, I'm just cut from the inside. Of the circle to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, as you see. Okay, my friends, with the help of my hot glue, I'm just going to seal the top of the battery. It should be sealed very well, otherwise, it can mix uh, with the electrolyte and cause a short circuit. You have to uh, seal it very, very well. Now I'm going to just close with this plastic here. And again, use my hot glue and seal it again. Now I'm going to put this into my uh, plastic case. Okay, we just fit inside it. So I'm just going to <clears throat> Take out my terminal. Okay, my friend, as you see, our anode is ready. Now it's time to make our cathode for our battery. Okay, now it's time to make our cathode. For the cathode, I'm going to use two pieces of graphite rod and one piece of uh, copper wire. I'm just going to round this um, copper wire around it just like this careful because the graphite rods are fragile don't break them <laughs> and just cut that out by the way let's cut out this plastic part second one okay We just solder our graphite road to see and we come to the most important part we have to prepare active material uh, for our battery my friends for this i'm going to use this plastic tube and i have some water here i'm just put some water not too much just put some water and uh, as a binder, I'm going to use uh, sodium silicate. Just put a little bit sodium silicate, not really too much, just a little bit. Okay, that's enough.
and I'll match them very well. Border and the sodium silicate just match them. And now for the active material. I'm going to use manganese dioxide. I'm just going to put some manganese dioxide. And some more. And just put some more. And I think that's enough. Just stir it. I'm going to put some more water, but now not only water, my friends. I'm going to put some more water, but now just put a little bit of water. And into the water, I am going to put some potassium hydroxide. Yes, I am going to just put some potassium hydroxide in it. some more okay I think that's enough it's gonna be a little bit hot and just give a stir until it completely dissolved okay now I am going to the potassium hydroxide solution into the active material Again, give a stir. I will just put the rest of it. Yes. Give a stir. Just stir it very, very well, my friends. Now I'm going to put also some ultra fine graphite powder into my active material. About uh, just 20%. Okay. And continue to uh, stir the active material, my friends, until it becomes an even uniform uh, paste. Mix it very, very well. Maybe I need to uh, add some more manganese dioxide. Just mix, stir again. If you have a blender, you can use uh, your blender to mix the slurry. It's gonna be better for you. Okay, my friends, I think that's enough. Now I'm going to just um, pour the active material into our battery, my friends. Let's just drop it very carefully. Okay. 
not until top okay my friends as the next step i am going to just put my graphite road into the middle of the uh, battery and now i need to wait about uh just one or two hours until it dry and after that we can continue to make our project now let's uh, measure the uh, current voltage inside it if there is a volt or not for now as you see it is about uh, 0 0.95 volt for now it's normal after um, after some times when the battery and the um, separator just soak the electrolyte and it dry the voltage probably will increase about uh, 1.5 volt so we can finish our battery after that my friends now my friends it's a little bit dry now i am going to just close the top of our battery and seal it okay just like this Can we just put the lid here? Yeah, very nice. Now I'm going to just seal it again with my hot glue. Just here. Now I'm going to again wait until it's dry. Okay, my friends, our project is finished. Now we are going to just uh, momentarily uh, measure the voltage inside it. Now uh, the battery is not working with the 100% efficiency. You have to wait uh, about a few days. Uh, the active material should a little bit dry and uh, the reaction between active material and the zinc should uh, completely uh, start. The uh, separator should uh, soak the whole electrolyte. So after a few days, your battery is going to work very, very well. And the capacity of your battery should be very high, about uh, 1000 milliamp power. Because before that video, I made another one just for preparing uh, a video for you. I just measured the voltage about uh, 10,000 milliamp power. So I just used this battery about one week in a project so it's a very high capacity battery uh, for now let's uh, measure the voltage inside it for now i have my multimeter here just to voltage mode now i'm going to just measure the voltage inside it As you see for now it has around one volt inside the battery as i said after a few days the voltage will increase up to uh, 1.5 volt and your battery is going to be ready to use uh we get the end of our video thanks for watching my friends um i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video and uh, please like my video and subscribe my channel take care of yourself see you in the next videos my friends